Okay, in this tutorial, we'll see if we can create our own particle shards using the new rigid body dynamics in version 2.66. I mean, one of the options you have is cell fracturing for doing breaking things, but I prefer kind of creating my own shards because it kind of gives me more artistic control. And it's not so complicated to do because there's so many tools in Blender right now. So here, let me just show you the simple animation for starters. Here it is, just the cube knocking into the cube. If you, and you should be familiar with this because I have a playlist with a bunch of rigid body dynamic tutorials. This is set up as animated with keyframes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to break this apart and maybe just a few pieces. So I'll just come into here like this and I'll go into the into edit mode and I'll use the knife tool K okay, and I'll just I'll just do a couple things. I'll click there, click there, maybe click there, click there, oh I don't know, just and click there and then I'll press enter. So I've created these four little pieces like this. Alright, now I'm going to go get the, make sure I'm in face select mode like that and I'm going to just individually grab each one, press P and separate by selection like this. So basically I'm making separate objects for each one of these pieces. Okay, so that's for starters and then I can leave edit mode and I can verify that they're individual objects just like this. All right, but yet they're still s sitting here in the same place and since I already had this set as active in advance then these also attain those active characteristics at the same time. All right, now let's see what happens if we just run the animation right now. Well, we can see the pieces break off, but that's not really what we want because they break off sooner than, you know, they just, they just break off right away. So what we need to do is we, we need to basically fix those to there. So let's fix this guy in place for starters. And we're going to try it a couple different ways. So what I'll do is this is named cube, that's cube.00 and that is cube, the main one's cube.001. So we'll try it with this one here, cube.00. And over in here I'll click the rigid body constraint. And I'll come down here and I'll just press cube.00 and the cube.001 for that one there. So basically I'm hit, constraining one to the other. Alright, let's just run it for a second. And there it is. It's actually locked in. You can see it's, it hasn't gone anywhere. The others now can. But I want this to be able to break apart. So right in here, over breakable. Let's make it breakable and you have this threshold that it can reach. Let's see if we have it set enough. So when it hits, uh, I can't tell it's going too fast. We use the, um, I'll use the mouse. So it's going down here. Let's see. It hits it. And there it is. It starts breaking right there. Let's zoom around to it just barely see it. See it's starting to fall apart. Let me keyframe it again. And there it is. It's breaking out of there. Alright? So, I mean, that's really not hard because this particular, these sharp edges I find much more appealing as far as a breakable object than using self fracturing which makes, it breaks it up into these nice little three-dimensional shapes, but uh, I kind of like the sharp edge shapes better. And you can see how easy it is. Alright, well let's see if we can do it with these others as well. This one was named 05, so we'll go give it a constraint as well. So that's, we'll pick 05 and 00, which is the original one. No, 01 is the original one. <laughs> like that. And we'll also make it breakable. Now let's see if we run from the beginning. I'll just keyframe it. So yep, it's held together with the other piece. And then it should, yep, it's breaking apart as well. All right, so pretty straightforward and, and a lot more fun because now, at least for me, because then I can create whatever shapes I want and I can even, you know, make, maybe I make an artistic shape or something, you know, to make it kind of a design or breakable part. All right, I hope that gives you some ideas and that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson.